Last week, we got to catch up with JaVale McGee on the baseball diamond. I'm not sure that was on his calendar when the playoffs started, but he's got a pretty cool event for you coming up. What can fans expect coming up? Uh, a couple home runs from me personally um, and taking over that first base on defense, doing what I do. Definitely the greatest first baseman ever to do it. Athlete JaVel McGee lacing up for a different kind of sport. You got any experience? Experience. We got a couple bats. I'm an athlete. <laughs> the Sun Center out at Chase Field Friday taking batting practice. And yes, the swing could use plenty of work. Oh, there you go. What do you uh -huh. make of his swing? I don't know. It's, it's, it's different. I like it. Oh, there you go. I can't imagine a real, like, fastball 99 miles an hour coming at your face you can tell why they're pros he's so tall <laughs> and the bat looks really small playing long toss i believe it's is this i believe this is the fastball i think it's a two seam fastball yeah this is a knuckleball knuck where would that go <laughs> i have no idea <laughs> just like <laughs> you saw the you saw the shoulder right you saw you saw the elbow the placement and everything it's it's real out here and snagging some fly balls if you can't tell baseball was almost his sport, but thankfully his basketball famous mom had other ideas. I wish I did play baseball, but I did. my mother said she took me to play t-ball at like six or seven, and I couldn't hit the tee, and then she just gave up on me. So I'm just like, wow, like, that was, I'm a That's kid. a quick pull, right? That was a quick pull. She was just like, no, that's not it. McGee out promoting his upcoming sixth annual Water for Life charity softball game. It raises money for Jug Life which helps provide clean water all around the world. We uh, build water wells in Uganda. Um, I think we've built um, six or seven as of now. And uh, this year, I believe we're going to build a sports complex in Uganda. McGee is all about using his platform to give back. That's another thing you can thank mom for. As soon as I got to the league, my mother, the one of the first thing my mother told me is, is philanthropy and, and giving back. The enjoyment that I get out of seeing other people happy, helping other people and making their lives easier is uh, is tenfold. It just doesn't, it just doesn't, nothing compares to it. His softball game will feature many of his teammates. Book looks like a good baseball player to me. I don't know why he has the look. I just want the fans to come out, just have fun and really enjoy uh, the team. But you can't talk to a Suns player these days without talking talking about their curveball playoff exit. JaVale still doesn't have an answer for what happened, but he's standing by his play and his team's body of work. I feel like my year was amazing. Uh, I had one of my most efficient years um, in my career, I feel like, uh, coming off the bench. The playoffs didn't work out the way we, we anticipated it to, but in the long run, as a whole, I believe we had a, a phenomenal season. You called this team the best in the world. Do you still believe that? For sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, put together, I believe our team was definitely the best in the world. So would the 34-year-old free agent want to come back? If I had the opportunity to come back and it worked out um, on my end and it was the right, th right thing for for me, then definitely I will come back. And fans, be sure to purchase your tickets to the Water for Life Charity. Guys, JaVale McGee's Water, Water for Life Charity softball game is Wednesday, June 22nd out of Chase Field. It will run from 5 p.m. to 9.30. Catch JaVale, Book, Chris Paul, a few other surprise Valley sports icons, but I can tell you who. A ticket start as low as $25 on sale right now at JugLifeWater.com. Uh, can you Mark, give us a hint? I, I can't give you a hint. Oh. Maybe some of them have done softball games. Does it before. rhyme with mitts? <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Uh, Mark, we were talking about this during the story. I'm tall, Javel. Yeah, you're 5'3", he, he, and he's six no, feet. No, 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 <laughs> he's not 5'3". <five laughs> <three. laughs> right not that go. there's anything five wrong with that. 5'3". <laughs> <laughs> Back I'll to argue, you, Randy man. Johnson. <laughs> Yeah, because Mark's seven foot over there. You know it, man. He has like six something. Be your own people who do it. <laughs>